1 Kings 8.57 The Lord our God be with us, as he was with our fathers. Let him not leave us, nor forsake us. Ephesians 4.32 And be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Matthew 19.19 Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Ephesians 3, verses 14-15 through 15. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Matthew 19.6 Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Romans 12.9 Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Proverbs 10.1 The Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Isaiah 49, verses 15 through 16. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Mark 10, 9. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Proverbs 11.29 He that troubleth his own house shall inherit the wind, and the fool shall be servant to the wise of heart. Psalm 103, verses 17 through 18 But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. Acts 18.8 And Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all his house, and many of the Corinthians hearing believed and were baptized. 1 Peter 3.1 Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that, if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. 1 Corinthians 13.13 13. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Ephesians 5.33 Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Luke 6.31 and as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. Ephesians 5.21 Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. John 15, verses 12 through 17 This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name he may give it to you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. Romans 12.18 If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Acts 10.2 A devout man, and one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people, and prayed to God always. Luke 18.16 but Jesus called them unto him and said, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Proverbs 
the wicked are overthrown and are not, but the house of the righteous shall stand. 1 John 4.12 No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Matthew 5.9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Galatians 6.2 Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Matthew 18.20 For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Proverbs 15.27 He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. Genesis 31.49 And Mitzvah, for he said, The Lord watch between me and thee, when we are absent one from another. Genesis 1.28 And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Hebrews 10, verses 24 through 25. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Proverbs 18:24. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Psalm 46, 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. 1 Peter 4, verses 8 through 11. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging, as every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion for ever and ever. Amen.